So everything's a little hectic in the race shop right now. Just finishing up the 18T for this weekend at the Grays Harbor Raceway. And welcome back to the YouTube channel. Happy to have you guys hanging out with us here on this Friday afternoon. Right now, as I mentioned, currently just finishing up my race car so it can hit the track this Saturday night at the Grays Harbor Raceway. And actually like 15 minutes ago, we also finished up my younger sister Carly's 22C so it could also be on track with us. That's right, uh, two cars, two Holmes family members, both gonna be on the same racetrack, the same division, once again in the sprint car, but this time, instead of it being the limited class, it's actually gonna be a real 360 for both of us. So we got Carly's operation all loaded up, so mine is next. And I'm really praying that the weather up north looks better than what we have right now in Southern Oregon. I am 99.9% .9 sure we are gonna get the races in. Like Saturday looks good. It's just gonna be very, very cold, probably wet. We are gonna be close to the ocean, which means more moisture in the air. And I don't think the weatherman predicted that the sun was gonna be out at all during the day, which means it's gonna be a typical, uh, you know, opening weekend in the Pacific Northwest for wing sprint cars. So nights where we're working late in the shop like this and we are getting ready to head and get the race car loaded. We, with my mom working and my older sister was working and we were all in the shop with Carly, myself and my dad, uh, no one made dinner. So we are currently at McDonald's, stop to uh, get some nuggets or something just to fill up before we go and get the 18T all loaded up. But not only when we're traveling, sometimes we have to make stops on the go, but even during shop nights because that is just the life of a racer. Carly, what'd you go with? Uh, some fries and a burger. You guys got to comment down below. What's the go-to place for fast food after the races? McDonald's is up there for us. I would say in and out if possible, if you're along the West Coast, McDonald's is not too bad. Chick-fil-A, if it still opens, another good option, but let us know in the comments. Anyway, we're gonna go get loaded up. So race trailer is all nice and clean. Carly's doing some organization back here. Got our tire rack, workbench. We should have the car in here in just a, a few short minutes maybe, maybe a little bit longer than that. I will say the biggest pain about running two cars that I'm trying to figure out is just like how many tires we need so both cars have variety for stagger. Hopefully that makes sense. It's like having enough left rears and right rears for both cars to where we can switch and we're not like both needing maybe one tire. Uh, so that has been a little bit difficult. So Carly and myself, we're just going back and forth, but we're kind of trying to fill up the tire rack. And then also, since we do have extra stuff, it's, you know, bringing what we need, but if it is extra, not bringing it like there's a fine line because we only have so much room with that little trailer and then obviously this big trailer we can carry a lot of stuff but we just want exactly what we need for both cars and nothing extra so it all fits Cars ratchet strapped down. We got the uh, airbag under to help with our shocks as it's riding down the road. Carly, you get the meal all tied down? Yep. So the 18T is ready for its uh, next weekend of action. And it's gonna be racing alongside the 22C with both, you know, Holmes cars out there on track. To give you guys some background on the Grays Harbor Raceway, it is literally one of my favorite dirt tracks on the West Coast. It's a 3 8 mile, it's super wide, it's got a good amount of banking. They kind of reconfigured it for this season, so we'll see how it races, but I think it has potential to race even wider than before. We've never won a sprint car feature there in a limited, a three. 60 or a 410 because we did run there with the outlaws but i felt like it was a place we've always had so much speed and i've just rolled around there as the track kind of suits my driving style so we're going to be chasing that first w at grace harbor this weekend and i don't know about you guys but it would be pretty neat to do it on their opening night everything's all good up here i mentioned that tire rack it's full the quad is in so it's thursday night and we can officially say we're loaded they just uh put the back door up, my dad and Carly. So I'm gonna shut this side door and uh, we are gonna be ready for a full night of action on Saturday with two race cars, a really fun racetrack, and hopefully the weather holds off so we'll be able to get it in. 
So the garage is now empty. It's nice that we got everything all loaded up last night so we don't have to do anything like late tonight, but we have such an early morning that I guess it kind of all evens itself out. And now that it is Friday, we do have another weather update. It looks like we are gonna be a go for tomorrow. Uh, we are not gonna get any rain or precipitation during the day. And if we do, it should be pretty light and we should have no problem getting the races in. And now the promoter did say the racetrack is overly wet. So, you know, they did their best to try to keep the surface hard so the rain didn't just you know soak it and then it's hooked up all night long but you know we are racing in the pacific northwest in april so you kind of just have to expect all those factors i believe you know all of us drivers kind of know what we're signing up for there is a chance that it's going to be heavy a lot of tear offs can get rough it's just all a part of it but to wrap up today's video i wanted to tell you guys what i announced on my community tab on the channel yesterday and kind of been talking a little bit about on my social media and that is that carly has now started a youtube channel so you guys can go on over to her channel channel subscribe and watch your first vlog that we posted today what was that video about uh firing up the 360 firing up the 360 for the first time we also got it all loaded up for the weekend carly's obviously going to be racing with us i mean expectations carly carly wanted said earlier in the car she said we should put a hundred dollars on who qualifies better so no i said if i beat you you owe me 200 if i beat and if you beat me i owe you 100 so we got a bet you know what mm. no okay so yeah uh, you know, okay, hundred dollars if I out qualify her, and two hundred if she out qualifies me. I have a feeling if I out qualify her, I'm not going to be getting any money, but it could go both ways. Anyway, go check out Carly's YouTube channel. That will be linked at the top of the description, and um, that's going to wrap up this video. So excited to get back on track. I really feel like we have a legit shot at winning and putting on a good night of racing with just our package and the speed we have. And Elma, as I said, suits my driving style and has been a racetrack that's been pretty good to us. Uh, and it's really, really fun to race when it gets in the right spot. You know, really slick, really wide, really smooth. A lot of sliders, a lot of lap traffic, but. We'll see you guys all there. Hopefully you're ready for all the content action coming this weekend. Deuces.